<laughs> Hello, good afternoon. I am in a uh, great, wonderful spirit today because I sold um, the property that I bought to flip to fund the rest of the tiny home community. And it sold today, of course, for less than what you always want, but it's always enough and God will make it work. He always does. Um, but I go from the office, um, and by office, I mean, whatever I'm doing paperwork because I wear a uh, beach attire to everything in my life. <laughs> um, but we got the new tractor and I love it. It needs the bearings replaced, um, in the lower deck down here. And, uh, basically just this made high and tight cause we're going to use it a lot for brush cutting and it needs, uh, you know, like the vents cleaned out and stuff to make sure it breathes good. Um, but there's a camp mow right now with it because some men sometimes are so strong that they tighten stuff to where you can't freaking turn it. <laughs> so another great man gave me the idea of um, wrapping a belt around it so I don't leave uh, teeth marks in it and uh, trying the pliers which I would have got that far, but I would have not have thought about the belt. Um, yeah, you got to do whatever you got to do to make it keep working, keep running, keep the job running. Um, and sometimes you're all you've got. What am I going to do? Call him a mechanic in right now? No, I'm going to call one of my friends <laughs> and stuff like that first. But um, this would be a day loss and we should have it going by the end of the day. And I have a push... Well, it's not a push. It's a self-propelled um, weed eater trimmer commercial kind of thing that's coming in from Kubota tonight, too, with my parts. So I'm really excited about that, too. Thank you, Chance, for being the delivery man and the salesman. <laughs> All right. Well, y'all have a great day. Catch you later. Or you realize that um, brute strength is not the answer for everything. And I probably left some new teeth marks in it after all. Um, and I still can't get it to budge and I don't want to break it. So, yeah. That's where I really miss Greg and I got to resort to the man right now. Yeah, I need to go get some help. <sighs> Holy cow. Wow, well, all those fence posts. Yeah, that's what, wait, that's what made me think I was doing it wrong whenever the pattern on the bucket yeah, told me so. You went right on the edge. Oh, but this hard to out a spinner. Should I lift up on the end of it? More. Okay, that's pretty tight. I'll move it back over this way a little bit. Ooh, nice. Okay. That's good. It still wiggles. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh okay. Get, I gotta get a pipe on it or something. Oh, okay. Okay. See where the welded in bar is? It's got to yeah. bite into that like this one did. That's the only stability you get. Now you got to slam them in with a pipe or a hammer or something. Okay. You can whip them until you can't move them anymore. Okay. I think I'll... Yay! Piece of, <laughs> piece of pipe would be really handy right there. Okay. But you know, that would hold the, the logs pretty good. You can't take all of them at once. Well, right. I'm thinking like three or Try four. Two or three of them where you want to yeah. put them. Where you going to put them? That's what I still got to decide. Where are you going to put them? To be continued. <laughs>